Hiya, folks. Take a look at this clip from Dave Chappelle. All white people talk about when they get high is other times that they got high. <laughs> Dude, remember at Frank's last week? It's fucking smashed, man. That is how I feel whenever I hear the story of the amazing thing that happened to me when I did Zazen. I was trying the other day to think of like a realistic number I could put to this, a realistic number of times I've heard somebody tell me the story of the amazing thing that happened to them when they did Zazen. And trying to be honest and not exaggerating, I would have to say at the minimum 50 times, at a maximum 200, maybe even more than 200 times, with all the dokusans that I've done and traveling around and all the emails I've answered. Uh, Gosh, it could be 500. And the story is always pretty much the same. Somebody tells me that they were doing Zazen and this amazing thing happened. And the amazing thing takes a lot of different forms. Sometimes it's a feeling of energy shooting up the spine and coming out through the head. Sometimes it's, it's uh, I lost all sense of self and melted into the universe. Uh, sometimes it's all of my thoughts stopped entirely and there was complete silence. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more mundane, like there's colors on the wall and I don't know, there's, there's, it seems like I could make a catalog if I really tried of like categories and, and types of these amazing things that happened during Zazen. I've never really bothered with it, but I feel like I could. And the stories are sometimes very, very long. Uh, sometimes they're short, but mostly they're usually pretty long. And, and I try to listen to them politely. The ending of the story is usually a question like, does this mean I'm enlightened? Uh, does this mean I've found the real truth? Is this a, is this a good thing that, that happened? Is this a bad thing that happened? How do I get more of this thing? That's a very common one. Uh, how, how, how do I make it happen again? Uh, isn't this the point of doing meditation? So on and so forth. And I know this story very well because it's the story I told to my teachers more than once during my Zen childhood and adolescence, however you want to call it, when I was starting out with it. And maybe it's my karma to have to now listen to these stories over and over. And what I always try to tell the people who tell me these stories is the same thing that my teachers told me. That's nice. Just keep on sitting. Don't worry about it. Let it go. Uh, my teacher Nishijima Roshi used to like to say, that's just the content of your zazen. That was his standard answer every time I told him the amazing thing that happened to me during zazen. Now there are lots of forms of meditation out there. Transcendental meditation would be one. Gosh, I'm sure there must be dozens of others. That's the only one that comes to mind right now. Uh, well, there's certain things in the Tibetan Buddhist uh, version version of Buddhism. There are other kinds where the object of the game is to make that extraordinary thing happen. And they'll give you lots of props and, and stuff, and, and they'll pat you on the back if it happens, and then they'll, they'll tell you you're doing great. Zen isn't like that. Uh, Dogen's way of talking about this is to contrast the great miracle with what he calls small stuff miracles. Shosho is a Japanese phrase that is nicely translated as small stuff. I think Carl Bielefeld was the person I, I stole that one from. And, big plug for me, I wrote about this in what is my still latest book until the new one comes out in October. It came from Beyond Zen. Dogen, in that book, talks about miracles. And he talks about, uh, I don't know, clairvoyance and people walking over water. Gosh, I can't remember all the ones. And he says, all of these are small stuff miracles. The great miracle is that you are here at all. So he doesn't deny the idea that these sorts of miracles might happen. He, he doesn't really affirm it either. But he says, 
if they do happen, then they are small stuff miracles. And the big miracle is is just existence itself. And if you think about it, it, it makes perfect rational sense. Look at what you're doing right now and realize that it's the outcome of, well, everybody says it's random chance, but I, I don't know if it's random chance, but we'll pretend it is. You know, a, a 12 billion years of random chance and weird happenings in the universe amounted to you. Uh, the, the stuff that your body and my body are made of came from exploding supernovas. Like, like uh, all the heavy elements that make up most of our body can't be produced any other way. So this is pretty significant. And the, the fact that you have an existence right here, right now at all is super significant. So when you are doing Zazen, you are doing Zazen with no goal other than to be exactly what you are. So if your Zazen feels like oh, it's confusing and wooly, that's a miracle. And if your Zazen feels like, whoa, spine energy shooting out, that's a miracle too. There is no better miracle and worse miracle. The idea of Zazen is to sit with the miracle that is your existence here and now and just stay with it. And even if staying with it means I'm sitting here and I can't stay with it. Miracle right there. There you go. Miracle. Don't pass it by. You know, be there. Be with that. That's it. I'm not a big fan of the types of meditation that encourage you to have special experiences. I know that these kind of things are very, very attractive, and I know this because they were attractive to me when I started out. I started out doing Zazen, realized after not too long that <laughs> nothing was going to happen and nothing was, 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 uh, was promised me, but somehow I stuck with it. Don't know why sometimes, but I stuck with it even in the face of that. But I was looking around and I was reading books by the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi while I was starting out doing Zazen going, oh gosh, these guys, things, things happen to them. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. But in my travels, when I have encountered, because I talk to a lot of people who do lots of forms of meditation, whenever I've encountered people who do those sorts of meditations, there's always this sort of neurotic gaining thing and a sort of an effect that's a bit like what Dave Chappelle mentions of like, dude, you won't believe what happened to me in meditation. It was me, <laughs> you know, and they'll regale you with the story. And you can kind of feel that they're all regaling each other with the stories and trying to up each other like, I was so wasted. No, I was more wasted than you, dude. <laughs> you know, it just goes on and on. Only instead of being wasted, it's like the, the great thing that happened to them in their meditation and they reached level 17. Oh, you only reached level 14, huh? I reached level 17. You know how I know? Because my teacher told me. <laughs> yeah, your, your teacher is sitting there going, oh, level 14? You know, that guy seems like a 17. Uh, that, guy, that guy's got a little bit more money. He's probably an 18. It's a scam, people. It's a total scam, and you're being played by these teachers who are telling you that you've reached this level and that level and who've conferred upon you, you know, the title or the, the I don't know what else they, they confer upon you, the special something, the little gold star or whatever they're giving you. Don't go for those gold stars. Uh, that's my advice. They're, they're all just being given to you by people who are trying to manipulate you to get somewhere themselves. So uh, I don't think that's worth falling for. So that's my message for today. Look at the great miracle. Look at the great miracle that is your existence and sit with it. And as the old Zen saying goes, if a clear mind comes, let it come. If a cloudy mind comes, let it come. Be with whatever you get and realize that whatever it is, is, is a miracle and is amazing. And if somebody on another planet wrote a science fiction story about what happened to you this morning, everybody would go, oh my God, that's the craziest thing I ever heard. Just think of it that way. So there you go. That's my message. Not a very long one today. 
If you want to donate to keeping me making messages like this, there are PayPal and Patreon links below. That is how I make most of my living, and I really, truly appreciate your support. Uh, love you. Bye.